wilderness innovation. Real survival kits. Survival shelter. Simplifying survival at wildernessinnovation.com. The Dakota Fire is about 12 inches diameter, about 12 inches deep. The air feed tube is about fist size and angling down to the bottom of the fire pit. I got my piece of bone I found, a piece of antler, and now I can use I can use this thing like this to kind of like a this thing here like a pick. I can use that like that and I can. I shovel out like this. I'll just keep on working at this and dig this first part of the hole for the Dakota fire. <clears throat> okay, I'm just digging down here, getting in here. This this tine this tine of this antler really works nice for digging this stuff up. And I've run into a rock down in here. I use my rib, the rib from this animal here, dig me out a, a rock here. All right, so here's my uh, hole for my Dakota fire. I'm down in here, uh, about 10 inches or so. Now I've got to uh, dig my other hole, my air feed hole, and my connecting tunnel over to that. And then I'm good to go to light this thing up. Alright, so now I'm working on my connecting hole and I'm using this uh, antler tine here. Still is my pick. Look how nice that is. You can really loosen up the rocks and stuff in here and dig it out. <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be heading back this way <clears throat> as I angle down. Uh, to connect this hole to my the fire pit hole that I dug uh, earlier and then this will this will allow air to feed over into the bottom of the fire over there All right, I've worked my hole through here. I'm all the way through. Yeah, that'll work fine. All right, this is going to be a little more difficult. I've got my magnesium shavings down in the hole. I'm going to try to just hit them from here if I can. There we go. All right, get some of these things to start burning here. Some sagebrush grows pretty readily around here. Get some of that going. You've seen my, if you've seen our uh, twig stove. Um, this is about like doing a twig stove only in the ground. So I'm just going to let that stuff kind of get going there. Okay, so I've got me my Dakota fire going. I've got my can and wire that I. Uh, my cannon wire that I scavenged up. Now I'm gonna pour some water in here and uh, we'll let that go. And we'll let that thing right there cook. Once you get a nice bed of coals down in here, it doesn't take doesn't take that much fire going to be able to cook on. 
right here are the tools I used. These two rib bones that I found from a deer, this antler tine. Made a very nice pick. Uh, so that made it possible for me to really dig this without too much problem and even get rocks out and stuff. And so you look down in there, that's the air feed hole to the Dakota fire over here. And I will just kind of let that thing keep burning until we got some hot water and it will cook us something up here. So here's the uh, wire that I found scavenging using for a bale on this can. And uh, the can I found also. And whatever might have been in it, time we boil through that and all that, all this heat, there ain't going to be any germs or anything to worry about. So they're scavenging. The bale, the wire for the bale, the can, and the, uh, the bones from the, from the deer, the, ant, the uh, antler tine, all that sort of thing made it possible for me to do this fire. See, because I'm kind of in the midst of these trees and anything, any smoke and flame and all that sort of thing is, is, con is concealed. Nobody's going to see anything. And I got this hill that rises up right here that conceals me from view that way. So I'm kind of down in a little hole on the right side and into a, a grove of trees on the, on the other side. So right back in there is where our fire's going. I'm about 15 feet away from it. And it being kind of down in the ground, you got to come a little bit more up on it here like that to be able to really see it. Here's another use for this antler tine. My uh, dinner here is cooked. So I can uh, use the tine to pick up the can by the bale. Of course I could use a stick too, but you know, <laughs> it's just showing another option here. All right, now I'm going to shut this fire down, and one beautiful thing about the Dakota fire is when you're all said and done, you can uh, pretty much restore everything back to, back to normal. All right, so I've uh, <clears throat> put the fire out. I poured a bunch of water on it. And... Uh, now I'm going to fill the back, fill this hole. All right. I'm just kind of blend some stuff in here. I can just toss a few things around on the ground here. Kind of like that. Sprinkle some leaves around. There's where we were and nobody really know the difference. So it's Perry Peacock with your wilderness tip. The Dakota fire and uh, scavenging. And uh, back in there, never really know I was there.